I would like to point out this color document that you have in front of you. I know that uh, the current disposition is not the tour of campus, but I wanted to tempt you with this because after the board meeting, those of you who want to rush, you know, to go ahead and listen to the debates, I should understand that. But those of you who want to stay, perhaps give a quick tour, particularly of Magnolia Hall, which used to be called Building A. That's a 1920s facility. I think probably Trustee Candell and Trustee Fields probably knows what that building looked like prior to the renovation. And if you want to see its version of the so if you are if you are so inclined, I'd be more than willing to give you a, a very quick tour uh, of, of that facility. The actual uh, introduction here is something that's very uh, important uh, to me and very important. Personally. You have to understand. And I'm sure that some of you do. That the students out there crossing over onto this campus every day takes an act of courage. An act of courage to do it over and over again. Some of the most challenged populations in the United States are in this zip code. That is not a problem, that's an opportunity. An opportunity to really have an impact on changing student lives. You heard me say over and over again that trade is a dream. It is our responsibility, not our job, our responsibility to help students achieve their dreams. And there are a myriad of challenges that can do that because you can't dream without hope. Part of that hope is the support services, the partners that we have in our community. We had an opportunity for a very distinguished professor to spend almost two years okay with us, meeting with our students, with our faculty, with our administration, walking into classes, having lunch with uh, anybody who happened to be present, and just to have a conversation to learn more about what it is that we do, but more importantly, who our students are and how we can best address their dreams. Dr. Mike Rowe's research has been widely recognized. And he is a recipient of the National Council of Teachers of English David Page Russell Award for Distinguished Research and Teaching of English, the American Educational Research Association's Distinguished Lectureship, UCLA's Distinguished Teaching Award, a Guggenheim Fellowship, the Grogmeyer Award in Education, and the Commonwealth Club of California Award for Literary Excellence in Nonfiction. He has, in effect, become an honorary member of the Trade Tech family. As I said, he's been here extensively for over two years. He spoke at our faculty convocation, and he's helped many students and faculty with many of his errors. He has become a very important thought partner. A thought partner is a very important position for us. It is somebody that we can talk to, listen to, to contemplate, to learn, to listen, and to challenge what it is that we do. He is our number one thought partner, providing great insights into how we can best serve students so that they may reach their full potential, that is, their dreams. You have a copy of his book present, and he has autographed that book for each of you. I really strongly recommend that you get a chance to read. The board, in many cases, talks about budget, talks about finance, talks about accreditation, talks about a whole bunch of issues. But how many times you have a chance to really contemplate the teaching and learning of our students. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Mike 